Hello out there YouTube land. Hello YouTube. It's me. I'm back and I felt like doing a video. I had some free time and I'm not really able to leave the house right now because as a lot of you know my father is disabled and I have to watch after him. We have another caretaker here taking care of too but uh, I've been asked not to leave the house so I have some time on my hands to make a video and I wanted to do this. I started to do this video a couple nights ago or a few nights ago and my camera went, my battery went dead. So I had to recharge the video, or recharge the camera, I mean. And so now I'm doing it again, so I'm doing it all over again. I'm going to be doing, you've read the description, now I'm review for this. Grateful Dead's Built the Last, their final studio album. This was the last Grateful Dead album. Doing this, and I've already done, a lot of you have already seen uh, Mars Hotel, and you've seen my review of that. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description so you can see that. But uh, this is this is an album. This one has not been reviewed on YouTube, as far as I know. I've looked for it, and there's been uh, a few Grateful Dead studio albums that have been reviewed, and some I just can't find now. Whether they're not on there or whether I just haven't seen them, I haven't been able to find them because they might not be written under that, you know, album review or whatever. As far as I know, this is the first review uh, for Grateful Dead's last album, Built to Last. So. So this was their album, the last album came out in the, at the very end of the 80s, came out in 1989, and this is an album that is, I think, the most underappreciated Grateful Dead album. A lot of the fans don't like it, and I've heard, I've actually read the band really hated this album, um, and I'm going to tell you my opinion on the album, I'm going to go through all the songs here. And I will tell you my opinion of what I think of Built to Last. I did talk about this last year a little bit, but I'm going to give you my full review, my full opinions of the songs and the album. And we're going to go right on to the review. So the album starts off with Foolish Heart. This is, a, this is the opening song, and it's a nice pop rock song. It's a Jerry song. Jerry sings this one. It's, it's an upbeat pop rocker. I really like this one. This one really... Uh, uh, is very strong and starts off the album very well. So Foolish Heart is a really good one right there. Opening song, going on to Just a Little Light. Now this is the first of Brent's songs. Now Brent is on this quite a bit. He's got four songs on this album. Uh, the most he's had probably on an album. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, his song, Just a Little Light, is another upbeat rock song, very pop rock. And I really like this one. This is a really strong one. And Brent's voice sounds great. This is a great song he wrote with uh, Barlow, uh, John Barlow. And it's another winner for me. I really like this one. Just a Little Light is, uh, like I said, a beat rock song. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Bob Seger, but, you know, just a little bit. Next we go to Built to Last, which is a mid-tempo slow song. The title song is another one Jerry sings. Uh, written with him and of course the late great Robert Hunter lyrically. Uh, Built to Last is a very strong one and I really like the version that when the Dead did their very last show, their reunion last show at Soldier Field on Fair of the Will, I liked the fact Bruce Hornsby, my boy Bruce Hornsby was singing it. It sounds great on that DVD that I have of the Fair of the Will concert. But Built to Last is one that's very strong. I love the chorus, I love the harmonies with uh, Bob, Jerry, and Brent singing on this and I think Built to Last is another another strong very strong song next number four we get to Blow Away another Brent song now this one is probably my favorite song and I used a little bit of this song for my 100 subscribers video when I was celebrating I finally got 100 subscribers and um, I really like this and the studio version is great it really is, but what really made me like this song was on the Crimson, White, and Indigo DVD when, when Brent's playing that, or the band's playing that, and Brent's singing that, and he's just wailing it, just totally giving it all his all, going completely emotional about it, and that just blew me away so much. It just got really into my soul, and it sure, I'm sure it did with all the deadheads, but Blow Away, I think, is probably my favorite on this. And It's funny, because when I first got this album many years ago, I didn't really like this album that much, and I didn't like any of the Brent songs. And now, you know, I've just named two of them, which I think are great, and one of them, Blow Away, is my favorite song on the album. 
If it's not my favorite, it's pretty close to it, but Blow Away is a great, great song. I really love Blow Away, and check out some live versions of that if you can on YouTube. And check out the studio version, too. The studio version is really, really good. Now, number five, we go on to Victim or the Crime. Now, this is a Bob Weir one. And this is one, this is where the album does take a dive. It's a bump in the road. This is just a weak song. I really don't like this one at all. This one, I just find it very weak. does not get off the ground for me. It's pretty forgettable. Um, there's not much I can say about it, but... Uh, I love Bob Weir, and I love, you know, Rat Dog and his solo album, Blue Mountain. And he's written some great songs with the dead, but this is not one of his better moments on here. Victim of the Crime. I, to me, I just it falls very flat. And then we go on to Weekend Run, which is another Brent song. And I like this song. It starts off with a guitar very reminiscent of Martin Offer, the way Jerry Garcia is playing. It sounds kind of like a Dire Straits song. But there's a YouTube user on... Uh, his, as a YouTuber named Joe Mo, and he said he loved Brent, but he really hated this song. And he says the song just sounds simplistic and preachy. It's possibly the worst ever dead song. He says it's basically We Are the World mixed with a little Richard Marks and Brian Adams power pop ballad. Well, like, if you put it that way. I mean, it does kind of, I can kind of see the Richard Marks, but if you can ignore all that and not let that ruin it for you, We Can Run's a really good song. I do like We Can Run. It's a good one. And then Standing on the Moon, a very slow one. <coughs> Sorry. Let me try that again. Standing on the Moon's next. That's a very slow one, a jury song. Real slow, real mellow. Feel good song. I really do like this song quite a bit. I uh, really can't feel bad for this one. But, uh, yeah, this is one they used to play, bring this one out live quite a bit. But Standing on the Moon, I think, is a very, very killer, mellow rock song. Really like it. Now we go on to song number eight, Picasso Moon, the second of the two Bob Weir songs. Now, I've heard a lot of deadheads really hate this song, Picasso Moon. Or at least I know one deadhead that really can't stand it. I love this song. I think this is a really good rocker. It's a little bit kind of like... It kind of reminds me of Hell in the Hell in the Bucket just a little bit, but I love Picasso Moon. I just it's just that that chorus part that Picasso Moon. What he's saying, I really do like Picasso Moon quite a bit, and I think this is a great song. I mean, I could maybe see people don't like that bigger than a drive-in movie. Ooh, we they think that might be kind of weak. Don't have a problem with it. I think Picasso Moon is a great song. So. That's my take on that, and the very final song on here, uh, the album ends with a lullaby by Brent Midland, written for his two, da two daughters, I Will Take You Home, and it's a beautiful song, and it's a good ending to the album, uh, it's a very good ending to the album, and it kind of, it makes you tear up a bit, because, you know, Brent unfortunately didn't survive, because he had lost his battle with heroin. And, you know, and Brent arguably was the best key player, keys, I should say, keys player for the Grateful Dead. It's kind of hard because I love Keith Godchow a lot, too. Keith was very strong, but I, I, I do really like, and Brent really shined on this album. This is, all these songs they did were great. And I, like I said, I used to hate them when I first bought this years ago. I found this used at a half price books for probably about 6 or $7, and it was a Grateful Dead album I didn't have yet, and then I ended up buying it. And I've had it ever since, never parted with it. So I love Built to Last. I think this is a great album. And if the band truly hates this album, that's a shame, because it's always very frustrating when there's an artist whose work I love, they actually hate themselves. But some Deadheads say this is an overproduced album, and that's one of the reasons why it's weak or they think it's weak, why it might not be so appreciated. Sure, it might be a little overproduced, but it didn't didn't really take away anything from me. A lot of albums are overproduced. So, well, I happen to love this album, and I'm going to give it a grade. I'm going to give this an A. I'll give it an A-. minus. I'm going to knock, I'm gonna knock down Victim of the Crime, because that's just a really weak song. That's one of the worst... That's one of Bob's worst songs, but everything else on this album is just gold to me. I just love it. Um, 
you know, standouts for me were, of course, Blow Away, Built to Last, and Picasso Moon. And just a little, I mean, yeah, just a little light. So many standouts on here. Basically, everything but that one, Victim of the Crime, is great. So that's my review of uh, Grateful Dead's Built to Last. Um, if you want to see it, I'll just show you this cool picture inside. I'm sure all the deadheads who have this have seen this many times. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's like a little poster. But I like that picture of them. They're all just standing there. Good Grateful Dead picture. And it folds out and you can put it on your wall like a poster. That's my review, so uh, all you people watching, especially Joel Tharp, I'm sure you'll get, get a kick out of this. And Joel, maybe you like this album, I don't know. I happen to love this album. I think this is a great album. Not my personal favorite. Some of you already know what my personal favorite is, but of course my personal favorite can change as I get older, because my personal favorite albums by artists do change quite a bit. Um, but it is up there. It's definitely a, I think it's a classic album. I think this is a great, great, great for that album. So, Built to Last gets an A-. minus. Thank you for watching my review. I will see you on the flip side. I'll get some more YouTube videos done when I have the time. And we'll see what else I have. Um, I'm going to be quite busy. I should be starting a new job next week. I'm supposed to be working for Texas A&M, if you can believe that, being a custodial worker, or a janitor, or a cleaning man, or whatever you want to call me. Some of you want to call me a toilet licker because I'm going to be cleaning toilets. Did that at Toys R Us. Not licking them, but cleaning them. Alright, so I'll make videos when I can, but basically this was dedicated to all the Grateful Dead fans. Christopher, Joel, all you watching, I appreciate it and I appreciate the comments. I'm sorry I didn't reply to those comments on the Mars Hotel review. I've just been so busy and there's been a little bit of stress because of my dad's condition, but he's getting a lot better. And... Next week is going to be, I'm excited about next week, I should have orientation, two weeks of training, and then away we go, and I'll have my own job, and pretty, pretty soon the scenery's going to change, I'll have my own place, in about maybe close to two months I'll be out of here and I'll have my own place, and I'll be living like a great bachelor, I'll be a bachelor but not eligible. Alright, I've been talking your ear off about the Grateful Dead, and my life a little bit, so like I said, I'm going to wrap it wrap up this video thanks for watching i'll see you on the flip side have a good night and i'll have a new video hopefully in the not too distant future soon on youtube thanks everybody and good night